Have you ever had phone sex? Yeah. With who? Dirty Tim. Oh. Dirty, of course. Let me, let, well, pretend I'm Dirty Tim for a second. <laughs> pretend I'm either Dirty Tim or Skippy Dog. <laughs> and I'm going, well, hey, baby, how you doing? I'm doing fine, Dirty Tim. Let me tell you something. I bet you're wearing Dirty something. Tim? What are you wearing right now? Dirty Tim. You know what? Are what? you naked? Yes. Are you touching your chest? Yes. Is your tampon uh, in? Yes. Are you wearing big, thick glasses? No. Can you barely fit into your nightgown at 182 pounds? Yes. What about maxi pads? Oh, stop it. Well, I mean, that seems, Do me like, a favor. seems pretty easy. I want you yes. to take off that helmet they put you in so that you won't bang your head against the wall. And let yes. me run my fingers through your beautiful hair. I'm having phone sex. Please don't interrupt, Adam. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ruin maxi the moment. pad talk. <laughs> Ruining the mood. Is your underwear badly stained? Yes. Rorschach. <laughs> you know that gets me going. Oh, my goodness. I love those brown stains. When is it time to go to work? Um, I usually go work around 1 o'clock when my mom gets home. Excuse me, I'm having phone sex. Oh, sorry. Hey, how come I smell? <laughs> <laughs> so, you sound like a nice girl. Have you yes, kissed anybody? I'm a really nice girl. I like to help people out too. Good. Do you ever do you ever kiss guys? Yes, yeah. I kissed um one guy in school, and I never got busted for it either. Oh, good. Before I graduated. Were you one of those kids like when you went to school? You're like you didn't switch classrooms. You always stayed in the same classroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I stayed in the same class. Mm. We kissed during lunch time. Right. Kiss during lunch time. Yeah, we said forget the dessert. We'll kiss. That's our dessert. Yeah. Mm. You're my kind of girl. The menu when I was in high school. That sounds like a nice kiss. Let's skip the yeah. dessert. Forget That's that right. rice pudding. How about a little tongue action? Yeah. So how come you're not being supervised right now? Like, where's your mom? Um, My mom's here. She's, she's making breakfast. She's making me pancakes. It's taking an awful long time. Right. I was going to say. It's important to that. carb load when you do no exercise. <laughs> yeah. When you weigh 182 pounds, it's important to eat pancakes. <laughs> Keep that. She's keeping her weight up. And plus, and plus, I got eight cats and four dogs, and I'm going to get a hamster real soon. And you remember to feed them and take care of them? Yes. You walk the dogs? Yes. If your dog and like a retarded person that. shows up to adopt you, do you, do you ever think you can rebel and say, "Look, come I on, I'm, I'm brighter go. here." I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, oh, um, how I, was turn? Yeah. You know what? I think you all are really cool. Well, we are. You're right about that. You're wrong about OJ, but you're right about that. Does she understand this show? I guess she does. Oh, please, it's Robin. Don't level. compliment yourself like we don't appeal it's, to the retarded community. Level. It's been beneath her. Are you kidding? Yeah. The Let, sophomore crap on this show? I like, Robin, do you understand our complicated form of comedy? Yeah, we're... These are brain teasers. Yeah, we're... we're uh, uh, we didn't get the subtle nuance of Mr. Mooney. Yeah, she she enjoyed the, uh, the... What was that movie with Gene Hackman? Uh, <laughs> the Royal The Tenet Royal Tenenbaum. She caught the nuance. <laughs> Right. Being oh, hey, what did you, hey, you know what I always favorites. like to ask retarded people? What did you think of the movie I Am Sam? Did you rush out to watch it? No, um, I watched like 30 movies. Um, mm. I watched like Friday the 13th, scary movies. Scary movies? You don't watch like retarded movies like I Am Sam? Uh, yeah, I watched I Team and Jeannie. Um, no, she's retarded. retarded. <laughs> what about Forrest Gump? Is he your idol? Yeah, yeah. he is. I thought so. I also got three music station on my TV. What a, what about when Forrest Gump got trapped on that island and had to survive for all those years? You mean when he was shrimping? Oh, more recently. <laughs> oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, when yeah. he talked to that I soccer guess. ball? Yeah. You mean in Forrest Gump, too? Did you yeah, see that I one? I that. Yeah. I bet you're a big Adam Sandler fan. Yes, I am. <laughs> yep. I bet you are. Honey, you know what I'm going to do for you because I like you? What? Did, did, you, did your mom have a lot of money? Yes. Probably not enough, though. She probably don't give you... I'm going to give you $500, honey. Give her the jukaki, too. And jukaki. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a bag of nickels. I'm going to jukaki you. Now, I'm going to give you $500. Do you know how much money that is? Yes. How much is that? $500. Yeah. What are you going to use the money for? 
I'm going to use these to help my mom out to pay some of her phone bills, and then I might buy some new clothes and, like, buy some CDs and stuff like that, because I'm, like, a big fan of NSYNC and Batch Boys. Yeah. All right, well, uh, you won $500. Courtesy of 40 Days and 40 Nights, the new movie starring Josh Hartnett. He's a hot guy. And uh, that's coming this Gee, Friday. we got to bring her here to New York to go to the premiere. Yeah, we'd love to bring you into New York, but we gave that trip away. So I'm going to give you 500 But what you're going to have to do is hold on the line. Hi. Wait a minute. Where is she calling from? Vanell. What? Vanell in Flagler County. Vanell? You're out yeah. in Flagler. Yes. Is that Florida? I have yes. Heard. Oh, okay. Listen, is Florida, is that the retard capital of the world? <laughs> it's the it sun. Is. I don't think she's retarded. I think it's the oh. sun no, that's beating she's down on her head. Well, <laughs> oh, I, I, I wasn't from here at first. I've been moving. This is my um, third This is my third year that I moved. Right, but when once the state found out that you had retardation, they insisted you go to Florida with everyone, um, all the other folks that are handicapped. Right? Ever kill anyone? Mm, yeah. All right. Okay. Who'd you kill? Anybody, um, my, my dad, um, my dad is like, I think he killed, uh, he stabbed somebody, but he didn't kill him. Oh. He what? He stabbed somebody, but he didn't He stabbed him. Yeah. Was it a dish jockey who made fun of his daughter? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was. <laughs> All right, well. No name sidekick who was only in now. town for three days. <laughs> it was the guy who worked for three days. <laughs> Really? Yes. He 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 killed the DJ. Yeah, not a DJ. He killed somebody at um his workplace where he works at a bar. Oh. Why? Because they were pissing him off and um and stuff like that. And plus, he wasn't he didn't like the person because he was trying to try and kill my dad. So Did your dad has to go to jail. Hello. Yeah. Is he? Is your dad in jail? Um, he was, but he got out. Ah. Didn't Dad tell you not to tell people about this? <laughs> uh, yes. You got to listen to the guy. He knows what he's talking about. I know. By the way, if you see your dad, tell him I have a lot of respect for him, and I, I wish him a, a lot of good stuff in life. It was Adam who I... said all the bad Yeah, and, the, and, yeah. and tell Adam him Sandler. Adam Carolla. Sandler. Uh, Carolla. Sandler. <laughs> Adam Carolla. <laughs> Write that down. Tell your dad. Hi. Sorry, Adam. That's why I called you in here. <laughs> An elaborate plan. The guy wearing the funny hat that doesn't fit his head. How dare you. The guy who takes free radio station hats and wears them as fashion statements. Yeah, well, tell your dad I said hi. Hi. Adam Carolla is my yeah, name. Right. Hi. Uh, hold on. Is the guy who wants to go out with you? Yes, Josh. Josh? Yeah, how's it going, man? You want to date this girl? Yeah, I want to meet her. <laughs> Hello. She sounds cute. What's up, girl? I'm just hanging out, listening to the Howard Stern show, and just rocking away. Just, just listening to my CDs and listening to the show. That cool. sounds cool. Hey, you ever had sex? No. Really? Do you want to? Yes. Then why don't we meet sometime? All right. Yeah, that would be a good idea. That'd be a real good idea, Pro preferably at your house. Right. <laughs> I'm not, honey, I'm going to be protective of you. I'm not going to let you meet this guy. Hi. Uh, what up, man? I'm liking this kid. I just wonder if her house is on weed. Why, why you got to knock me? I swear I had sex in forever. Now, you know you're going to just get her over to your house, have sex, and throw her out the door. Her dad's Tex Watkins. Are you, are you willing to take that chance? <laughs> yeah. Honey, I got $500 for you, but all you have to do is hold on when I put you on hold. All right. All right, and you're a nice don't girl. Talk Hi. to this guy anymore. Yeah, and stay away from men. Can only lead to trouble. All right. All right. Hey, Howard. You're a nice girl, and Hi. I'm glad you're a fan. And uh, thank you for listening to the show. Yeah, yes, you're Adam. Welcome. Yeah. Why? I'm just thinking. Shouldn't you fly her in and let the uh, putts from the Queens, you know, ride in with Gary kind yeah. of thing? I mean, why not? You got a plane ticket. Gary, see if you can arrange for her to sit next to you and drool on you. Yeah.